Hey guys, um, sorry for the attire and the picture in the backdrop. Right now, it's the best I can do. Um, just got out of the hospital after a two weeks stay. Um, so, and had a little piece of my toe cut off. It's a very small piece, um, but that's part of this story. But just say no to the enemy. And yes to Jesus. The just of this and where I'm going with this, guys, is very, very important. Okay? But a couple things. When we say no to the things of this world, the lust of the flesh, the cares of this life, no to the coronavirus mess, yes, the disease is real. But the rest of it was weaponized to try to destroy, seek, kill, and destroy people, lives. I'll get into that in a second. No to the lies about all the election and all the mess. I'm sorry for the, like I said, for the backdrop. Bear with me because I can't move my computer around that great um, in the house because I can't walk. I have to use a walker and my toes in a boot. I mean, my Foot's in a boot. Not great. Getting a lot better. Um, but so Jesus said no all the time, guys. No to Lazarus wasn't dead. No to don't go to pray for the man at the Gadarene to the Gadarene man at the tomb. No, no, you're not blind. You can see. What do you see now? Sticking mud in people's eyes. No, to the crowd when they said, crucify him. Kill him. Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Guys, it's not about this whole election garbage. It's been idolized too, some guys, okay? I'm sorry, okay? Uh, you know, you know where I stand? I did vote for Trump, okay? But why I voted for him was because of his stance on abortion. Because we've got to say no to that. Because we can take an innocent child's life and throw it in the trash. They call it a, a clump of cells or whatever. Well, clump to the dump. That's pretty much what they're telling us. Guys, we were all clumps at one time. We were all lumps of clay till God breathed into our life into us. That's a, that's a child, guys. So I don't want to, I don't, honestly, I'm, I'm saying no to the lies about every life matters, blah, 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 this life, that life, all that garbage. But yet you get, I mean, what do you think all this lockdown's about, guys? It's about the elite few, and it's the love of money is the root of all evil. That's all it's about, guys. I'm not a conspiracy theory artist or anything like that. Guys, that's one of my messages. Lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all your ways. He'll direct your paths. Our understanding, we can't even figure out who shot JFK. Did we land on the moon? Did we not? Flags blowing in the wind is not, you know. Come on, guys. Does it all that really matter? No, it doesn't. Who is involved in it? Kind of, but it's an evil plot. Not even a plot. It's evil in people's hearts to take over the world. They want to control the money and the power. The power is the money. They want the money, guys. They want more of it. It, it is part of the new age, new world, government, all that's involved. Yes, of course, absolutely. I'm not discounting what people are seeing or saying, any of that. But what I'm saying is we've got to say no to the cares of this life, which is the media bashing. That they've just, they just, man. Huh? Okay, if something kept, if something repetitive, 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 Facebook is full of it. Everything that they don't like. They put up there, see the election results, see the election results. They back down a little bit, guys. Why are they backing down? Because people are speaking up and saying things. They're all, 
It's all going to come to naught. Except the word of God. That's the only thing that's going to stand. It's, my word will not go out void. Guys, you've got to be paying attention to what the Spirit's saying to the church, not what the world's saying to us. The media has just repetitively narrated these lies and perpetuated it, most of them. Not just social media. It's become road rage, guys, on the social media. But how many of y'all have heard, look both ways before you cross the street? Most of you. What did your parents tell you? They kept saying it and saying it and repeating it and watching you and making you do it until you just did it, did it automatically. That's what happened with this, all this stuff. Why was this COVID ushered in? To take control, guys. Okay, I can say this with authority, guys. I just told you, I'm gonna tell you this straight up. I was in the hospital for two weeks. Three different emergency rooms. Not in some little city out in the boondocks. Major metropolitan area. Population of over a million. Big hospitals, guys. Blocks and blocks of buildings. You can get lost. You can't find your way around. Huge complexes. Thousands and thousands of workers and people. And you know what? I didn't wear a mask 99% of the time. Emergency room, yes, out in public, yes. But every emergency room I was in, yes, the hospitals are full to capacity and then some. A lot of sick and dying people. And a lot of them are COVID. But I talked to all the nurses and doctors and a lot of people. I asked a lot of questions, but it's always the same question, but for pretty much. They're not unfair. I'm not, my, I'm not making fun of or light of the fact that people are dying from this, guys. That's not, nothing to make light of. Those are people, loved ones, people's parents, children. I still pray for a couple that lost their child to COVID. He was a firefighter. It was a year or so ago. It was on the internet. I still pray for those people. That's a hard, hard thing. To lose a child. So I'm not saying that there's not an issue, guys, with the disease. What I'm saying is not an issue. There's no, there's no reason to be out of this fear and pandemic. Okay, say no to the falsies of the world. What has he done to solve any of this? Nothing. Sits on t and laughs about it. Thinks he's some kind of Hollywood star with, with Governor Cuomo. What? Man, look at the evil that they're portraying in their hearts. That's what I'm standing against. I'm saying no to the evil of these pe people's hearts. Abortion on demand. What, what are you doing? Look at, if it's such a great, right, and positive thing, man, then let's, you know, let's do a CNN. Why don't you go in there and film one? No, you won't. You're gutless on that. I'm not trying to be cruel and inhumane, guys. We all know how horrible and horrendous it is we've got to say no and it's not just no it's in actions I saw a post and I mean, there's going to be one of my bumper stickers it said I don't care if you can quote the whole bible and I'm going to add a little bit to it I don't care if you can quote it the Torah said this the Dead Sea Scrolls said that, the Hebrews said this, that, man, you're trying to be a know-it-all. Honestly, most of them. That's just me. Could be wrong. But if you never opened the Bible, your life acts like you never read it, you never opened it. If you show actions, guys, I say that to some, I've said that to a few big churches and some of them don't like it. Are you even reading your Bible, guys? Very simple. The gospel is very straightforward. It's very simple. Yes, there's. it's not even complex. Yes, there's some depth to it, a lot of depth to it, and he's going to lead God to direct you to it. We've got to say no as to all this outside chaos and influence. When we do, the enemy, when we say no, the enemy is going to come. That's what he told me to tell God's people to warn them. 
When we say now, the enemy's going to come out in violence. He said, tell God's people to be aware of their surroundings. Okay? A little bit of my history here. Okay? My wife spent two weeks in the hospital. I'll spare you the details. She probably don't even want to give you, you know, what it was. It's irrelevant. She just had some physical, medical issues, okay? She gets out. While she was in the hospital, guys, this isn't violent, but the enemy is coming against the body of Christ in the natural because he can't win the spiritual. The election the COVID, divorces, cars breaking down, strife and envy on every side, the violence, burn, burn the city down. Look at Minneapolis. But what I'm saying is that those are all tied together, okay? He's coming against the body of Christ, but he's going to come against it with, with the violence when we start saying no on a rampage. Okay, this is natural, not violent, but I'll get to the violence in a second because you got to hear this. Why in the hospital? Five brand new phones, guys. Two months, I went through three be 10 days to get it was a tie up one of the major carriers major people that manufacture the phones well, guess where they're made china probably junk got a new one it took me 10 days guys to get it i finally get it that one went out well guess when it went out well my wife was in the hospital brand new phone take it in the manufacturer Next day, they gave me a brand new one. They were busy, didn't charge it properly enough, time-wise, sent me home. Next day, that one didn't work. I told my friend, I said, man, a new one in the box. Didn't work. Natural thing, yes, a phone, yes. Something simple should have worked. It went out while my wife was in the hospital when she needed me the most. <clears throat> Created some issues. She gets out of the hospital, Two days, maybe three days, we're exhausted. There's, you know, was a, man, just dealing with all that garbage at the hospital, guys. It literally took me like 12 hours, two different days, one day three and one day from 7.30 in the morning till 5 o'clock at night to get her a change of clothes. Because all the stuff, rules, and garbage. Something simple. I'm not making this up. In the natural. Two days, a couple days after, we're sitting there in the same room where I'm at now. A bedroom. I hear this crash. Glass breaking and stuff. I would go wake up, it's 10 o'clock, I'm like, I better go look out now. I'm just exhausted. They're both exhausted. From the hospital stay, from all the stuff that we had been through, just, you know, it was just a lot. You know, more so her than me, but I was still exhausted too. So I was like, man, I'm just going back to sleep. The next day, I finally find out what went on. I slept through the phone. The phone was in the other room, of course, but the doorbell rang. My dog didn't wake up. Did nothing, you know. Woke us up. Somebody in a stolen car, chased by the police, hit my car so hard, they knocked the two houses down. Violence. Poof. Told it, of course. Well, uh, long story, but stolen car, their insurance won't cover it. Well, I got uninsured, underinsured. Man, guys, that was a month ago. I'm just now getting the claim settled this probably this week. Phone calls, craziness, something simple. Like, man, guys, did I not have insurance? What did I pay for? You know, it was manifesting to wear us out. The selection, yes, fraud, lies, all the stuff that's involved in it, guys, to wear us out. But it's also mostly to usher in the mark of the beast. China's not our friend, guys. It's an ungodly communist country. But it's all designed. Look at the, 
Look at the church. Why is it 089 the church? You can't go to church, but you can go to all these major retailers and shop. They're, look at them all. They're double digit profits. Doubled, most of them. And there's one major, I'm telling you guys, when we say no, the world's not going to like it. The devil's not going to like it. The enemy's not going to like it. Look at all the social media. YouTube and all the others. They're all, you know, banned, barred, cut you off, tell you you can't say that, you can't say this, you can't do this, you can't do that. But others can say all kinds of garbage. Even the, look at the bottom of Facebook, it says news feed. What are they feeding you? What they want to. It's not so much the issue of why can't we speak? Why do we have to be in a corner? Because the enemy is mad. Because we're speaking the truth. But also at the same time, we can't be, how are we going to be the light of the world if we're just like Barking. I'm not going to bark, guys. It's not about barking. It's not about in your face speaking out. It's about speaking the truth. Whether you want to hear it or not, like it or not, I'm not, that's not, that's relevant, but it's not. Then don't listen to it. Many don't. Your choice. But I'm going to speak the truth. And when we do, the enemy's going to come. Look at some of my other videos. The enemy's going to come in like a flood. But when he does, the Spirit of the Lord is going to lift up a standard. Guys, it's time that we rise and shine as a Christian, God-fearing, Bible-believing child of the King. Be that peculiar person. Just say no, guys. But just saying no is not going to be enough. We're going to have to be actions. Guys, I've done some stuff that I'm a low-tech guy, guys. Okay, my first Facebook page was about two, year, two years ago. First, I'm 60. Facebook's been around a while. I never posted anything. Kind of couldn't even sort of figure it out now. I'm fine, but I didn't really want to, honestly. That was some of it. Very low-tech kind of guy. They've banned me a dozen times at least. Barred, restricted. I still got one of my sites. Jesus is Alive in America site still restricted. Why? I do it all the time. Guys, but I you know, pray about it. What do we do, God? What do we... I got a little bit of stuff that's going on. I'm not going to post on the internet. God told me to do, and I've seen some results. A little bit of back channel stuff. And I'll leave it at that. Because I'm saying no to the censorship, to the ungodly, to the lies about the abortion issue. It's what it's all about, guys. Most of it is about life and death. They don't care. Lockdown. What's that all about? Control so they can control the pop. They don't care that people are dying. Okay, I'm going to end with this. Kind of, maybe. Went to a place, worked with a, a big box retailer. I'm not against them so much. Home improvement, big box retailer. We'll leave it at that. And I worked with them in the early, late in late 1990s, early 2000s. Saw a guy, I'm not going to say his name because I don't want to embarrass him, and I didn't ask his for, for permission, and I don't think he'll mind, but I just, his name was Bob. I'm going to call him Bob. Hey, Bob, how you doing? So I'm, I see him all the time now, and whenever I go shopping there. Not so good. Is it? So my next question was, is it here? Because I work there. So some undue processes and it was just you know it was a tough job and some some of the stuff just wasn't right you know i'm lazy i'm not knocking the company but there were some things that needed to change a lot of pressure 
I said, is it here or is it home? He said, home. Kind of a big guy. Very nice guy, though. Been doing this for 30 years. He had been there for a while since I knew him, so at least 20, 25 years ago. 20 years ago. And he'd been there for eight or nine before that. So, you know, a long time. He said, because he worked retail and he was around a lot of people, he wouldn't go around his family because he didn't want to spread the disease. Bring it to him. His brother died of a heart attack and they found him a month later. Didn't see him in a month. And he was like, he was like, man, I, he was, he was pretty livid, guys. He said, man, I'm so sick of this COVID lies. You could get hit by a car and die. I didn't even get to tell my brother bye how much he meant to me. How much I really loved him and cared for him. Of course, though, you know, guys, how many other millions of people have been hurt? You know, a lot. Livelihoods destroyed, lives destroyed, turned upside down. Why are we letting them do this? So that... 3% or 2% of the population can get filthy rich. It's the love of money, guys, the lust of the flesh, the root of all evil. I'm not opposed to people making money. I think you should. I think you should be able to make all the money that you can, whatever you can do, that's fine. It's the gouging and the greediness and the not caring what happens to others. Do you think they care? Look at the governors. Any of y'all stuff you hear about the nursing home, what little bit that you hear that's not filtered through a cloudy lens. People in the nursing home can't say anything about themselves. Man, they don't care about your lives, your livelihood. That's why I posted this one. It said, you know, um, just it was basically comply or die. They don't care as long as they can get their way. Usher in the new world order, even worse, more. It's going to get pretty, pretty hellbound, guys, if we don't do something now. That's why I put out that one about weep and pray between the porch and the altar at 5 a.m. We got to get a hold of God on this one, guys, even if it's just a remnant. If you don't believe in God, okay, that's fine, great. I'll go to this guy in California. I don't know if he was or not. I don't know his life. He just seemed like I got a really strong spirit of discernment. He seemed like a decent guy. I don't know his life, but probably a family man. He owned a restaurant and he was pretty livid. Right next to him was somebody from Hollywood or some movie producer or somebody was doing some stuff and they just, they could do whatever they wanted. It was just such a double standard. And he couldn't even open his restaurant to indoor dining. He spent thousands of dollars at a warehouse full of plexiglass trying to comply and comply and comply. He just wants to make a living probably for his family. Take care. Of, you know, he probably worked very hard to get his restaurant. It's He's in the service industry serving people. Restaurant business is hard. Why can't he make a living? Because the few whether it's the politicians or the people holding them, the purse strings, the greed. Doesn't matter, we can name names. You don't know who the names are, a lot of them. It's the evilness of it. Do you think their li our lives matter? No, they don't, as long as they get what they want. The vaccines, man, they're deadly to people. They don't care. What did Chris Cohen die of? President Trump die of? Rand Paul die of, Tom Hanks die of, not the COVID. What did they take? 
Why can't we take some of that stuff? Why is the problem rate ninety nine percent? I'm not taking. I'm not discounting the taking lightly the one percent that are. Those are people too, very important lives to to others, loved ones. So don't get me. Don't don't go there with that pendulum because that's not what I'm saying. But this fear based stay at home, lock yourself up, just comply till you die, pretty much. Same with that clump to a lump. It's all the same stuff, guys. That's why I don't wear a mask. It's because I know the lies that are behind it. I'm saying, my actions, I'm not just saying no. I'm saying I'm not doing it. Sue me. Send in the National Guard. Shoot me. Whatever. I'm not doing it. I haven't done it from day one. My wife said, you know, when this first started. Ten months ago, I didn't. When they first said stay home, I didn't. I followed the leading of the Lord, what he told me to do. Man, I was done when I was out 12 hours a day. Stop me, well. I'm in the helps ministry. There's people out that were needing help that I was helping. Different various different avenues and things that were going on. But I was about my father's business. I'm not doing it to be, you know, crude and not, not keep you healthy either. Like I said, what have they done? What has Dr. Fossey, what have they done? What has the news media done? All they do is set blame it on Trump. One man or whatever. You know, what about the rest of them that have done absolutely nothing but try to create a, a billion dollar industry out of a virus and a vaccine so they can charge the insurance companies thousands of dollars for the medicine times millions. We've idolized the almighty dollar, guys. Why do they call it the almighty dollar? Not the almighty dollar. It isn't but what almighty. His name is God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and the Word. No. To the enemy, to the devil, to Satan, to the evil, and yes, to God. What's he telling you to do? That's why I encourage so many people. And I, there's, I think her name is Jamie Barut. There's one. I would rather hear from her than even some of these mainstream preachers. A, a lady that's on my Facebook feed, but she's got some really good insight into the things in the spirit. Another one, I'm just going to throw a few names out there, but I don't think you'll mind either. David Sellers. I don't see him trying to promote a page, a, a, a ministry, nothing. Yes, He's kind of like the Jesus police on steroids. That's who he is. But look at his heart. And then discount his messages. You can't. What I'm saying, guys, is it's time to say no to the, all this outside influence that we're getting. It's coming through, through the church, through religion, through the organizations, through the world. One world order, it's, man, we're, we're, we're days away from it, guys. If we let it keep going, we haven't, it's not, we're not on a slippery slope. We fell off the cliff and we're in a free fall. 5 a.m. prayer. The Lord was telling me one of my messages. It's not about me, guys. Honestly, it's not anymore. It's about us. Meet me there, 5 in the morning. Some of you can't, people that work at night, different re reasons, you may have kids, there may be things why you can't. God sees all that. But if you can, meet me there. Let's pray as a nation. Let's weep and cry between the porch and the altar. Let's get this done. Turn off this. Turn off your computer. Turn off, about the only thing you can turn on is your coffee pot. Because I don't like coffee, but that's just a plug. That one's free. Turn it off, guys. And listen to what the Spirit's saying to the church. Listen to God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. After you do that, then come talk to me. Then tell me what, what you're seeing. Till then, you know, I'm going to probably, you know, I may not, not to be rude, but I may not be listening to you very much. I don't, 
that's not about me. I don't want you to do You're not going to get a lot of this answers from me. You're going to get it from your early morning prayer, your closet prayer, where nobody might see you. Why? So God can get the glory. He's in the glory. Even this election mess. Man, however God straightens it out, it's going to be for his glory and his honor. Not some prophet that says on May 19th at 2.30 in the morning and I saw this and this is going to happen on, you know, January 21st. Russia is going to drop a bomb on us and, you know, Trump's going to win, whatever, you know. You better be right, guys. Better be birthed in prayer, dedication, seeking the Lord. He's showing me some, and I don't always get it right, guys, but most of the time, yes. Wow, but it took me 40 years to get here. There's a lot of no. But there's stuff he showed me. The thing about the abortion, look at my feed, the one about how God sees America concerning abortion. Man, he told me that two years before I put it out. Prayed about it, like, you really want me to say that, God? Some things I have to say pretty instantly. Some things, are st there's some things I'm not saying. It's still, still I call it the God cookery, but it's still, still coming to fruition. I'm still, you know, okay, Lord. Same with you. We've got to encourage the body. We're all, the body is showing things to different people. We may not even, not, it's not even about opinion anymore, whether we like or don't like it. Whether we want to put a like on Facebook or not, like I said, all these social media they become like a road rage. People just click and pass and push, and then they run off and do their other thing. They multitasking and doing five million different things, and not even thinking about what they're saying and who they're hurting and what they're doing and saying. It's just quick, easy, shoot you and run. Enough. No to all that. No, no, we, you know, last one, I'm end with this. Dream I had, I was dreaming, and the Lord said, Colossians 3.16 was just as important of a scripture as John 3.16. Look it up on my, on my YouTube. Look up John, Colossians 3.16. A lot of it's how we treat each other as the body, even in the world. You know, I didn't vote for him. I don't like him because of what he stands for, guys, with all evilness behind it. But I still pray for Biden, Biden, sorry. Because he's an old guy. He's got some health problems, probably dementia, something. He needs Jesus. I don't like it. But I still pray for him. Hope that he will. Don't think he will. Just me, could be me. I'm not God. Love you guys. But it's just time to say no to all this mess. It's time to take up, it is time to take, bear up arms, but it's time to take up the sword of the spirit. Not strap your AR-15 to your behind and go march in the Capitol. Not gonna do much, guys, honestly. Maybe, might make you feel good. It is an action, a time of action, though. Time to say, no, I'm going to go to church if I want to. I'm going to worship if I want to. I'm going to praise the Lord if I want to. I'm going to speak about the goodness of Jesus if I want to. I'm going to portray the gospel if I want to. I'm going to do kind, be kind to my neighbors. I'm going to be kind to the clerk at the different stores I go to because you don't know what they've been going through. I'm going to do, be about my father's business. What's he telling you to do? And many, and I'm not telling the people that are being vocal on the social media to not. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not, I'm telling you not to stop. But really filter it through prayer. That's all I'm telling you. That's the direction. Filter it through prayer. What's God telling you to say? How's he telling you to say it? The world's watching us, guys. Okay, so we love you. Um, just say no, but also be aware of your surroundings. Because the enemy is going to come in to try you. Mark 
going to end with this. I am going to end with this. It's getting too long. I did have to have part of my toe amputated. But I had to say no at first to the first hospital. Then the second one was great and awesome. They took just a small piece off. The first one wanted to take my foot off, pretty much. You would have saw my leg, the infection. The man, they took my leg off below the neck. Bad. 60 IVs plus, literally. I'm not making that up. I was getting two, four, eight a day. Every day. I was in there for 14 days. Almost, yeah, almost two weeks. Getting, and man, my system was in overload from it all, guys. But if the operation was 100% successful, don't want no more infection. But I had to say no first. No, you're not going to just take my, I wouldn't even be out here now, guys. I would have still been in the hospital and rehab somewhere. Cause I would have lost my foot. I would have a prosthesis and all. A mess. God didn't see that. You know, yes, I lost a little part of my toe, and it's a pretty valuable lesson to me. Slow down a little bit, Steve. Some of it was the enemy. A lot of it was. It wasn't God. Some of it was Steve, you know, not paying attention. Of course. Trying to. I was a little bit on overload myself. So I said that as a warning is that we need to pay attention to the surroundings because the enemy is going to try his best in the natural I hurt God's people to destroy you. That's his main goal. Love you guys. Um, it's just time to say no to the flesh. Love you guys.